welcome to Module 7. So in Module 7, we'll deal with group policies in Windows Server 2022, which is not very different from group policies over the last 10 years in Windows Server. So, <clears throat> excuse me, with that said, this, um, I've got two other videos for you that'll talk about GPOs in Windows Server. And there's going to be a, a, an incredible amount of overlap between the two. If after watching the first one, you feel, I'm good, I got it. Don't, don't worry about watching the first one. If you find the first one, or the second one, if you find the first one difficult to follow, check that one that's 7-3, the second one. Um, both of them are significant videos. They, they cover a lot. Um, and they're both, I think, about 20, 30 minutes. Okay. So, um, we're not going to deal with CyberHub in Module 7. But the concepts that we deal with in Module 7 will be applied to CyberHub. I'm just not going to have you jumping into CyberHub again this week. Um, so with that said, right, um, we'll deal with group policies and what group policies are why we do it and I've talked about it before um, to walk you through the interfaces okay so short simple module it's not brutal and um, once we get through it we'll move on to the next one um, so go through the chapter got the questions, homework questions at the end of the chapter, and I've got those two walkthrough videos on setting up group policies, uh, different ways to configure group policies, and what they are, why we need them. Okay. So with that said, I'll see you in the next module.